I think that was supposed to be a chase scene that I just botched. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be hard. Well, whatever, the next time we have something to heal. <laughs> yes, it startled me so much, I shook my mouse. <laughs> I was like, what? I thought he was behind me, following me, which is why I was closing the doors behind me. Okay, yeah, we're healing up. This is ridiculous. Uh-oh. Uh um... That makes me want to check everything out. Now that you've said that. How's it going? What did I break? Well, the game, it seems like. Or myself, really. That's a person. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I think I was in a chase scene and I kept running away from the monster. But it kept catching me. Here's something super cyberpunky. says we could try again when things calm down yeah right he looks you know. perfectly fine you He's got PG. To <laughs> it's just a cyborg he was making a guest appearance in the game so he cared about Catherine the most it seems like I think he wants, whoever's talking to me wants me to move on, cause... Ooh, he's mad. It's just not gonna happen. You tell me not to look at something, I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's the next area. Area. Um, 
Um, okay, so... We'll go to the infirmary first, then. I guess. Unless... Something else looks a little more promising. To you guys. Oh, way well. I'm not you your stupid pets inside. Yeah, he's just sleepy. Okay, we've got the dive room and dispatch to go into. And the work area. Uh, they might all be closed off. I can't remember. heartbeat. Bad idea. Here we go. Okay. Post impact notes. Minor structural damage, radio knocked out after the uh, comet. Communications recovered. Omicron and the rest of Pathos 2 are all right. Cross site radio failing. Lumar probes keeps losing the link. Urgent fix needed. Tau can't retrieve the climber until the link is working. Bi-weekly visits until communications are back up. Oh, that's a smart idea. Evacuation from Tau to Omicron. Swarmed by monsters and no radio. So they got swarmed by monsters and they didn't have any way to communicate. Is there anything that's online? Uh, I don't know, what's the code? That's not good. Oh, it just hit okay. Duh. Thanks, uh, creepy being that keeps helping me. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasser, Kovsky, Quetzi, and I survived. Au Claire's in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Probably butchered those names. Code C made a run for it to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. 
People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Feta telling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The data is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this afterlife. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure this Ark business out, but they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dahl and Serang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Yeah, not so much now, but beforehand, sure. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Well, yeah, that's the creator of uh, the WoW that's responsible for even you being alive right now. The main character. And now he wants to shut down the WoW. Wait a minute. Where was I going? Um, storage. Work area? That's where I came in from, huh? Dispatch is where I was just at. Okay. Um, let me think. We need to try to get into the infirmary again. Is there somebody in there? You. You're different. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight. All right. I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. 
The abandoned Delta, Theta. Even the Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos, too. And uh, I'm the only living person you've met? <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Station down? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. Tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. You serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. I still can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. Oh, that's sad. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Be my guest. I got no secrets worth keeping. I'm glad you came by. Photos of everybody who's passed away. Emergency food. A thorough look at what common chemicals and compounds found at Pathos 2 could keep you alive in emergency situations. A manual on how to keep unconscious or comatose colleagues fed through intravenous drip. So that's what the he did to her. Methods on how to make room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed and left Delta. <coughs> this feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Be careful. Go ahead. Go save humanity. What's left of it. This is really sad, by the way. Mm -hmm. Would you stay with me, please? Yeah. It won't be long now. Just please, just stay. crazy thing this was. Life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray! I'm not tearing up, you're tearing up. Home looking friends. Have you ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. I haven't been talking much because well, this is very emotional. Get out of the city. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. A 
or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos, liked my colleagues, Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Kath. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you're still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there. To the stars. The black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. That was it. That was the last human. No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the Ark like this. I mean, you could try. Oh, you gotta call it from the other room. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna turn around and it's gonna be all dark? No? Okay. Where was the lift in here? Oh, this big giant red thing. Gotta go down. It's too fishy. <laughs> This place has a lift and all the other places haven't. functioning earlier. Smart idea.
pressure's still strong. Still can barely see anything. wrong eventually though because it always does. I could hurry if you stop messing with my vision. This is very uh, amnesia-esque this tunnel. 